Hi guys, welcome back. Once again, the market took a huge diving, continuing from last week. So a lot of people still thinking that the market is dropping because of the potential war happening between Russia and Ukraine or because of the rising interest rate or the inflation. Well, if you still believe that is the story and the reason why the stock market is dropping every day, then I don't know what to say. Because sooner or later, you are going to wonder how come the market can grow when there's more bad news about war or interest rates and how come the market can still drop when maybe the interest rate is not as bad as people think. Just like last year, the beginning of 2021, when all the tech stocks drop because of the rising 10-year yield. And if you go ahead and believe that, then you're gonna wonder why most of the tech stocks did not grow with the index while the yield curve has gone down. So that's why I don't believe in the story or the bad news out there. For me, I think the market is falling because of valuation reset. Similar to the metaphor I gave about the kidnapper as the short sellers. Now that the Fed said stock market is not my priority, now you can do whatever you want. And the short sellers getting the green light to short the market and set the valuation back to normal. To me, every market crash is a turning point. It is a valuation reset. And somehow I believe it will reset the giants. There will be a new rising set of giants after every market crash. Just take a look at the biggest companies of all time in history. Are they still at the top of the list right now? These giants have once fell or crashed with the major market crash in history. But the problem is they never got back up and break new high. Just look at 10 or 15 years ago. Like I always give examples of the oil companies which were making the biggest market cap companies in the world. And right now they are nowhere near the top of the list anymore. Just take a look at PetroChina. For example, 1.24 trillion. Now it's about a hundred something billion, 10% of how much it's worth. So it peaked at 45 and crashed down to all the way to the lowest of three. And the crazy thing is it was crashing during the financial crisis when all stocks were falling hard at that time. So people thought it's okay, everything is crashing. I'll just hold on tight with the giants. At least they would climb back up and make all time high, right? But little did they know it, that it was crashing, not entirely because of the financial crisis market crash. As you can see, after the 08, 09, many companies have recovered, but it's doing nowhere near the peak. So that's why watch out for the valuation reset. Watch out the giants being reset. Let's give a more recent example, okay? Boeing, which had peaked at 435 before COVID and the COVID market crash, driven it down all the way from 3400 to $89. From the look of it, it seems like it's event driven and after COVID it would recover, right? But I don't think so. I don't believe it. I think it's just a valuation reset and I doubt it's gonna make an all time high anytime soon. So right now I would watch out for those giants that many people had such great confidence, strong faith in them. And yet little that we realized these giants might have been really slowing down the growth or might have stopped innovating, spend more money in the share buyback to raise the stock price, then investing back to R&D and improving the innovation or technology. So right now what we're experiencing, is it just a correction or is it going to lead to a market crash? No one knows the answer right now. Would there be more black swan news coming up? Sure, I think it could be. Is there even a recession coming? Or deflation or stagflation? Anything is possible right now. And in this case, and in this case, is it the end of the world? But I do know, no one knows what's gonna happen. No one has a crystal ball right now, but I do think that at the end of the day, it is innovation that's gonna save the day. In this case, I think Kathy Wood is right. After the valuation reset, there might be a new set of giants rising among the growth stocks. The innovative companies, the ones that are dumped the hardest right now. I really respect Kathy Wood to stick with the company she has strong conviction in and the fact that she chose the company over the macro environment. But what I think she's lacking right now is 
Well, I would think also very important, the team and the leaders, especially the leader. This is also what I realize more and more because I'm just seeing how fast the trend is changing, the world is changing almost every day, every week, every month. This is why a strong leader is so important. And right now, I will be more careful with the companies that the CEO is not the founder. And also, do I agree with the vision of the CEO? And does the leader have the ability to bring the company out of the trouble right now through the big turning point of technology, all the new innovation collapsing each other and bring the world to a much faster and better world. So right now, my point is do not believe in the news and choose the companies according to the news because news is always behind and those are the stories made up by the Wall Street, the big dog to manipulate smaller players. Right now, what we are believing, I believe, is a valuation reset to reset the giants. And after this, there will be a rising new group of giants. After all the dust settle, we might go through a more painful period. But at the end of the day, it is what are being done the hardest right now that saved the day in the end. And when we are trying to figure out which are the selective field to form the new giants, I think the most important thing is to look at the leader. Now, that's it for what I want to share today. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a big, big like and write me a great comment. And I'll see you in my next video. That's it, guys. Hope you can find my videos helpful. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a big like. Thank you.